Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the files required for this project, you can download them from below link in the description. Complete After Effects template is also available for free on my web store, check out the link in the description. Now let's see how to create this logo reveal, create a new composition. Name it as logo reveal. Here for this composition, I will set time duration to, 5 seconds remaining everything will be same. Now let's create a new solid layer, this will be our background layer. For this background, in effects and preset, search for amp. Add it to the background layer. Now here you can set the background color of your choice, set start and end color. Now adjust the start and end of ramp position. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter to 500. Perfect. Now let's add the logo to the timeline. Scale your logo if needed, here I will scale my logo. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as logo. Select move all attribute into new composition. Perfect. Now we need to create mask to the logo. To do that, go to layer, select auto trace. This will create mask over the logo. Press U to view keyframes. Let's remove this keyframes we don't need it. Select all. Hit delete. Perfect. Now let's add the Sabah effect. Go to effects, from video copilot, select Sabah, if you can't see this Sabah effect. Then you need to install Sabah plugin, download link for Sabah plugin is provided in the description. Here for this Sabah, we will use preset, neon. Here I will set color to orange. You can set any color of your choice. In customize core, set core type to layer mask. Now make sure you are at start of the timeline, create keyframe for glow intensity. Now at 2 seconds. Change glow intensity to 30%. Now set glow bias to 0.35. Now at start. Create keyframe for core size, set core size to 0. Now go at 3 seconds. Change core size to 2.7. Now go to end of the timeline. Change core size to 0. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for mask evolution. Now at end of the timeline, change mask evolution to 250. Now let's set the start size to 25%. You can see the preview. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for start offset. Set start offset to 90%. Now at end of the timeline, change start offset to 0%. Now let's set start roundness to 2. 
Set end roundness to 2. Now in flicker. Set flicker intensity to 40%. Set flicker speed to 30. Now in render setting, set composition setting to transparent. You can see the preview. Here you are free to adjust the glow. Perfect. Now from project panel, let's add the glitch media file to the timeline. Place it as 2 seconds. Let's hide it. Now for logo composition, in effects and preset, search for displacement map, add it to the logo composition. For displacement map, change displacement layer to glitch. Now at 2 seconds, create keyframe for max horizontal displacement. Set displacement to 0. Now move 10 frames forward. Change displacement to 40. Now at 3 seconds and 10 frames, change displacement to 0. Let's change max vertical displacement to 0. You can see the review. Press U to view created keyframes. Now select the core size keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now select mask evolution keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now select displacement keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Here you can adjust the speed graph. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now for this logo composition. In effects and preset. Search for bevel alpha. Add it to the logo composition. For bevel alpha, set edge thickness to 8. Set light angle to 0 degree. Set light intensity to 0. Now again add bevel alpha. For bevel alpha, set edge thickness to 8. Set light angle to minus 45 degree. Perfect. Now in effects and preset, search for mirror. Add it to the logo composition. For mirror, let's change reflection angle to 90 degree. Now adjust the reflection center position. Perfect. Now from project panel let's add the floor media file to the timeline. Here I need to import the floor media file. Add the floor media file to the timeline. Change the floor media file to 3D. Press R to bring up rotation. Now adjust the X orientation value. Set it to near about 270 degrees. Now for this floor media file, in effects and preset, search for motion tile, add it to the floor media file. For floor, position it as shown. Now for motion tile, select mirror edges. Now increase the output width and height as shown. Now let's pre-compose the floor media file. Name it as floor. Now let's hide this floor composition. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for compound blur, add it to the adjustment layer. 
change blur layer to floor. You can see the preview. Here you can adjust the blur value. Perfect. Now change this logo composition to 3D. Now let's create a new camera. Now create null object. For null, change it to 3D, parent camera to null object. For null, press P to bring up position, at end of the timeline, create keyframe for position. At start of the timeline. Let's reduce the Z position value as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For this adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now slightly adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now let's create cinematic frame, create a new solid layer. Name it as frame. Make sure fill color is set to black. Now double click on this rectangle tool to create mask. For mask 1, let's change the mask path. Change unit to percent of source. Set top to 10%, bottom to 90%. Select inverted. Perfect, now let's see the complete preview. Perfect, here our cinematic Saber logo reveal is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. See you next week with another awesome tutorial.